Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss about the heterocyclic rings. In this video, we discuss in detail about the trivial system of nomenclature for the heterocyclic ring. Let's begin with the introduction of the trivial system. This system of nomenclature is based on the trivial and semi-trivial names of the heterocycles which were given before their structural identification. The trivial and semi-trivial names of the heterocycles were given on the basis of their characteristic properties or on the sources from which they are obtained. Therefore, the trivial and semi-trivial names provide hardly any structural information. However, trivial and semi-trivial of some heterocycles are recognized by IUPAC and their names are retained in the fusion nomenclature system also. Now here the heterocycles with their recognized trivial and semi-trivial names here we discuss in detail. So first is furan. This furan is nothing but the five member ring having oxygen. So here we give the numbering to this ring obviously from the starting of heteratom which is oxygen. So here is the numbering to this furan ring. Here is the some examples of drugs which are having the furan ring in their structure like furosemide which is used as a diuretic, natofurantoin which is a, an antibiotic, Prazosin, which is an antihypertensive drug, and ranitidine, which is antihistamine, which can be used in peptic ulcer. Now, second one is the thiophane. Thio, this indicates it having a sulfur as a heteratom. So, thiophane is nothing but the completely unsaturated five member ring having sulfur as a heteratom. So, we give the numbering we start the numbering from the heteratom which is sulfur so here is the numbering to this ring and the example of drugs which having this thiophane ring uh, examples are cefoxithin tricarcilin uh, so these are uh, example of antibiotic moving to the next one which is pyrrole so remember that this pyrrole means PYR this indicate that it the ring having a nitrogen and uh, ending is with OLE means OLE which indicate it having a five member ring so pyrrole is nothing but the which is a nitrogen containing five member ring and as it having a nitrogen as a heteratom we start the numbering from the nitrogen so this is about the pyrrole ring with numbering. The example of drug, drug which having this pyrrole ring are nicotine, procyclidine, tolmetine. Where this nicotine which is a parasympathomimetic drug, then uh, procyclidine which is an anticholinergic drug and tolmetine which is uh, an example of anti-inflammatory drug. Now next parazole this indicate it PYR this indicate it the heterocyclic ring having nitrogen and OLE which indicate it is a five member ring but with also it having a AZ actually AZA the A get uh, drop because this stem is starting with the oval so it having a five member ring with two nitrogens so here is the structure and we start the numbering from this nitrogen because it contains the hydrogen so the starting of this one number from this nitrogen and next second is to the second nitrogen and example of drug is antipyrene Celebrex. Uh, antipyrin is uh, an example of non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. Next one is the imidazole. Obvious, 
this imidazole which indicate it having a five member ring and uh, it having a two nitrogens but these two nitrogens which are a to the one three position to each other so how to remember that so you have to just remember that here this m m indicates which is a meta meta means this having a to the one and three position so you have to give the uh, numbering right from this nitrogen because it having a contains hydrogen so the one two three to this nitrogen so remember the difference between pyrazole and this imidazole ring in pyrazole the nat two nitrogen containing five member ring but these two nitrogens are to the first and second position whereas in imidazole it having a five member ring containing two nitrogens but which are one one and three to each other so example of drug are pilocarpine clotrimazole losartan so this pilocarpine which is an example of drug which are used in glaucoma whereas clotrimazole which is a example of antifungal drug and losartan which is used as a anti hypertensive drug so in this drug it having this presence of imidazole ring and as to this first position it having a hydrogen so it is a 1h isomer next ring is thiazole so with this name you will get that it having a sulfur and nitrogen with five member ring so here is the structure and as it contains two different heteroatom sulfur and nitrogen so we give the numbering as per their priority and we the priority is to the sulfur so we start the numbering from the sulfur so you have to put the number 1 to sulfur and accordingly give the number so as to the another heteroatom having a lowest locand so here we start first and second here we give to this carbon and three to this nitrogen so example of drug which having the thiazole ring is thiabendazole and thiamine thiabendazole which is an example of fungicide drug and th uh, thiamine which is a example of vitamin b1 so uh, you have to remember with name you can easily remember the structure of heterocyclic ring if you give the as per you may also say which is a 13 thiazole but in travel system you may directly remember, uh, write as a thiazole and which indicate the position sulfur is 1 and nitrogen is 3 so instead of writing 13 thiazole you may also write thiazole moving to the next example which is oxazole so with this also you will uh, know about the structure oxazole means it having a five member ring containing oxygen and nitrogen so here is the structure and the priority is to the oxygen so first number is to the oxygen and accordingly you have to give the number so as to the second heteroatom which is nitrogen having low, lowest locand if you give the name it can you may also say it is a 13 oxazole example of drug is griseoviridine which is example of an antibiotic and zolmetriptan this is a another example of drug which are having this oxazole ring in their structure now next one is the isoxazole and here uh, you may observe that it also you may also say it is oxazole but the position of nitrogen is to the second one in case of oxazole which is to the first three and here is in case of isoxazole isoxazole the oxygen uh, oxygen having first and nitrogen which is to the second number 
so it is called asoxazole if you want to give name so it is 1 2 oxazole but in trivalent system it is say as a asoxazole and remember that the nitrogen which is the second heteroatom which are present to the second position and in case of oxazole which is to the third position so remember that so example of drug which are having isoxazole ring is isocarboxazide and cloxacillin this isocarboxazide which is an example of antidepressant drug whereas cloxacillin which is used as an antibiotic now next is hadantoin this hadantoin which are having a five member ring containing two nitrogen and this ring is completely saturated one and having a two oxygen atom which are present to second and fourth position so you have to give the numbering to this ring and example of drug which are having this hadantoin ring is phenytoin which is used as an anti epileptic drug now here which are all about the five member ring now on this we have discussed the example of heterocyclic ring which is a six member ring so first one is a pyridine pyridine is example or the name of heterocyclic ring which is a six member ring containing nitrogen heteroatom so the numbering to this ring and the example of drug which are having this ring is isoniazid niacin nicotine isoniazin so uh, this isoniazid which is used as a anti tubercular drug now next one is the pyrimidine so you will also get that this ine which indicate six member ring pyr this indicate it having a this six member ring having nitrogen and this mi we have seen in case of imidazole this mi means it also having a one more nitrogen and which is to the third position so here is the ring and the numbering to this ring and you will clearly observe that this nitrogens which are 1 3 to each other 1 3 position to each other so example of drug is trimethoprim purine and pyrimethamine so these are the example from where trip, uh, trimethoprim which is a example of an antibiotic now next one is the pyridazine so here is a structure and in that in that case the six member ring having two nitrogen but the position of the nitrogen is to the second position so this is the difference between pyrimidine and pyridazine in case of pyridazine it having a first and to the second position presence of nitrogen whereas in case of pyrimidine the nitrogens are 1 3 position so example of drug is sulfa methopyridazine now next one is the example is pyrazine here is the example and which are having a two nitrogen present in six member ring and which are one four position to each other example of drug which having this ring is amyloride and which is used as diuretic and last one is the pyran which is a 2h isomer because to this second position there is a extra hydrogen is present so here is the ch2 and all these are having a ch so it is a 2h isomer so here we discuss about the trivial system for the heterocyclic ring hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning